Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today you're probably thinking we're going to do another halftone. I would really like to have, uh, but you know I do have other orders. And believe me, there's going to be more halftones coming down the road. Uh, I'm reading up on it. I'm going to get all the settings just right, and hopefully I can do something that just knocks it out of the park next time that I do a halftone. I'm not saying I'm doing one next time. So today, what I'm really looking at is a little order that's a piece of home decor. It's more of a local piece for us here because it involves Lake of the Arbuckles, the Arbuckle Lake that we have here. And so it's pretty simple for me today, straightforward. It's just gonna be a little piece of home decor.
So that didn't come out perfect. You did see me try something. Uh, a couple of my viewers, I've had to mention it before, is after they cut, they go ahead and spray poly inside of the area they've cut before they sand it. They said they've had better results with that and taking the paint off easier because the way I was doing it, I would spray the whole board, but then it left that area around the, or right there where I cut, exposed and it was raw wood and the paint would bleed a little bit. So I thought I would give this a shot. It actually looked like it worked pretty well. Now I'm not 100% feeling great about this one. I knew I was gonna have problems down here with this lettering. It's real small. If you can see, I mean, it looks like everything cut good. I'm not happy with it. The S to me didn't come out just right. Uh, up here in my little <laughs> compass, I messed with the settings whenever I was programming that and look at the E. It's horrible, horrible. So this is obviously gonna be a recut at some point. I'm gonna uh, get this order out. Oh, I just found another place right there. Look at that A. That A is not complete, it's got missing spots. So right down here I used 220 and I was hoping to save this one, but I could tell when it was cutting that it wasn't cutting deep enough. And the problem being is the font I used and going this small, they don't work well together. I knew that, but I thought maybe I could pull it off. I pulled it off before. It just didn't work great. But the idea of it's pretty cool. So I'll probably reapproach this, mess with some programming up here, change up the font a little bit and make those bigger. But man, I can't hit a home run every time. Who knew? <laughs> so guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, if you hadn't guys, run over and check me out on Smokey Uncuffed. You can find me on YouTube, on my podcast, and on my website, www.smokeyuncuffed.com. And if you hadn't done so yet, please subscribe here to Smokey CNC Woodworks, and I'll see y'all next time.